This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what's going on, peeps? It's Deku Bag on the Man 16. Now, today we got this new Justin Tuck on the screen, and we will be pulling for him, but you guys know how that usually goes. No, Justin Tuck on your screen, 82 speed, 93 excel, 98 finesse move, 90 block shit. Okay, so that's interesting. I have a confession. Giants fans, I figured I would be 100 with you guys. Keep it all transparent. Keep it up front, man. You know, I'm your boy Coop, man. Why? You know what? That's me. I got the Timbs. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it slipped. Okay, so Justin Tuck, though. This guy, I'm kind of, I kind of don't even want the card, to be honest. Because we're, we're looking at his ratings, and yeah, they look cool in the block shed, and finesse move ratio is really high, and that's awesome, awesome. But the Michael Strahan card had like a 100 finesse move, even though his block shed was kind of questionable. The, the card sucked. I sold the card. Like, the Strahan card played terrible for me. It might be all world for you guys. It sucked for me. So I was like, oh, that's enough of this. But outside of that, I mean, the 90 block shed might actually make this Tuck card pretty solid. So. We will see, like, I felt so bad. I've never felt bad when I've sold the card. Like, I felt when it, I saw somebody buy my straight hand. Like, I kind of wish I could have put a notice on it and let somebody know how bad the card was. So here we go. We got Reggie Wayne on the screen. Also, now, this card, I can't believe he's only got 93 speed. Now, Colts fans, Reggie Wayne has booked a ton of good years with you guys in... This is a guy that's been one of my favorite receivers. He's also a guy from that New Orleans metro area. You know, the suburbs around New Orleans. I think he's from Marrero. And, you know, that's that's close by me, man. I have family from Marrero, too. Still, it's all New Orleans to me. It's all New Orleans. So, you know, I got love for Reggie Wayne. He comes in 89, ball carrier vision. I keep hearing people tell me that ball carrier vision doesn't matter when you're running the ball. Hopefully, somebody can help me out. He also has a 96 spec catch, 96 stamina. 97 catching traffic in a 98 route running okay now unfortunately before we open packs for you know reggie wayne and justin tuck we got to go ahead we got to knock out the 17 badge packs now badge packs normally really trash for me just think of this as like a bonus for the video i figured you guys would at least want to see how bad my luck is up close like your luck you can't have terrible badge luck right well, yes, you can. Honestly, I would be lucky to pull one elite badge out of all these badge packs that I'm opening. And remember, I wouldn't... Okay, well, I would still do this because, you know, the quick sells and the coins and whatnot. But my, my main reason... For, you know finally hopping on finally deciding to you know clean up my binder a bit is so i could start pushing and actually completing the prime time collection that collection is no joke the set whatever you guys know I i'm still living in the past whatever it's so ex i don't even know why I oh, okay never mind i remember why i started it i wanted to get you guys a video where i was like yeah hype and you guys were going to pump me up, and I was like, oh, we're doing this primetime collection. It's about to be great. It's about to be fantastic, and this is unreal. This is... Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not just me. I think I get, like, increased chances at golds. This Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's starting to heat up a little bit. And my luck is actually so bad. Okay, I'm not even going to say it's my luck. I have, like, tons of unopened presents and stuff in my binder because i was out of town for a majority of okay that's that's a really bad excuse i just i forgot to put them in the set so i have like gifts and you know things i can't open just chilling in my binder and it's terrible and you know what's like the worst part about having that junk in my binder is not only is it like completely worthless now like i got large quicks so i can't even i can't even sell not only is it completely worthless but I can't quick sell any of the stuff that's in there. Is right there. We get the superlatives collectible. And we also, yo, that's a dope picture. <laughs> Dude's kind of just chilling at the press conference or whatever. 
but yeah, it's just junk that's just occupying my binder right now. So, I tell you what, since we're doing this superlatives pack, if we get this video to 1K likes, I'll do a superlative pack opening tomorrow. You know, I'll do the set that gives you that superlative elite or whatever, and we'll knock it out. We'll see how bad my luck really is. It's actually had a few decent pulls to start off this year. As right there, I had to quick sell some stuff to make sure we did not go over it. Oh, okay, here we go. Looking out for me right there, getting two superlative collectibles to start this pack opening. Also, a Derek Carrier. Now, guys, if you see anything that sells for like over 10K, let me know. You guys know I am looking for that, and we get Andrew. Luck almost completely did not notice him, but I don't think his pull goes for that much right now. I think we're pretty late in, you know, we're getting pretty deep in the mutt cycle. So here we go. Opening the topper, we get best vocals, team spirit. And we, we don't get, okay. No, this is cool. This is exactly what I was going for. I don't even know if you could have got a player out of the topper, but we come away with no superlative players. And that's awesome. So with that being said, much more Madden 16 Ultimate Team coming out soon, guys. Be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, guys. I'm D Coop. Much more coming soon. And time out. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's D Coop back on the Madden 16. Now we are back, opening up some superlative packs. Now before we even get into the superlative packs, you guys know we gotta check out what we can pull. So we're gonna start off, and you know I'm a. LSU, I'm a New Orleans lover, man. We got Honey Badger right here. Obviously, this is going to be who the Mafia will be going for. He comes in with a 94 speed, 97 excel, 87 play right, 100 pursuit, 92 hit power. Now, I haven't been my usual self when it comes to pulling New Orleans players. Hey, let me know what you guys thought about the games today. Yo, the Carolina game was crazy.